Hey there, this is Lalula LV. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Or if you're new here, welcome. It's been a while since I filmed this type of video where I'm sitting behind the camera and you can just see my hands, but I thought this was the best way to display all of the wallets that we're going to discuss today. Today's a review of the best luxury compact wallets. I'm splitting this into two sections, the larger size compact wallets that you see on the top, and then we'll also talk about some mini or micro size wallets as well. And I have a few bags here, which I'm going to set aside for a moment, but towards the end of the video, I will show how all these wallets fit inside the mini reissue from Chanel, the medium college bag from Saint Laurent, and the Alma BB from Louis Vuitton. Let's jump right in with the larger size compact wallets. These are the four that we're going to discuss today. These are the ones that I do recommend. We have the compact zip around wallet from Saint Laurent. We have it in the burgundy color as well as the black. These are the same exact wallet. We have the YSL Cassandra wallet, and we also have the Louis Vuitton Victorine. So these are the ones that I do recommend that we will talk about today. These two are also very similar styles. Before we look at all of these that I do recommend, I want to take a moment to also mention one that I don't recommend. And unfortunately, I can't show you this wallet in person right now because I owned it and I sold it already because I didn't like it, but I will insert some photos and or footage of this wallet now. I owned this and I sold it because the bill pouch was really exposed. The bill pouch is not only open at the top, but it's also open on the side and it just felt very exposed to me. I didn't like it. It was also very easy for this tiny strap with the snap on it to come unsnapped and open. So unfortunately, I did sell that wallet and I wanted to mention that because that is something to look for in your wallets. Look for the coin purse if it's on the inside or the outside of the wallet. Is that zipper or snap exposed? How exposed is the bill pouch, etc.? So look for those things. They will be personal preferences, but I think they're very important to note as you are looking for a wallet. Now, let's get back to the ones I do recommend. Let's start things off by looking at the Victorine wallet. I'm sure some people are familiar with this. This is one of the most popular wallets that Louis Vuitton sells. It's released in many different collections. This is from, I believe, Spring in the City from 2022. And this is in the Damier Azure canvas. It has metal studs on the front with these really pretty monogram flower details in fuchsia. So the Victorine does have a snap opening. Inside, you will find three card slots on each side. There's a slip opening behind, again on each side, so you can put a few cards back there. There's a very generous bill pouch in the back. It spreads across all three segments of the wallet when it's fully open, and there is a coin purse on the side, and the zip for this is inside the wallet, so when you have it closed up, you don't have an exposed zipper if that matters to you. We'll come back to this in a moment. Let me take a quick look at the YSL Cassandra wallet. Again, very similar to the Victorine. This does have an outside slip pocket. The Victorine does not have any outside pockets. Again, very similar when you open up the wallet. You have three card slots on each side. Behind each of the card slots, you have two uh, slip compartments as opposed to one in the Victorine. This bill compartment is not quite as big. It does not go across all three sections of the wallet, just the two 
interior sections, but it's plenty big enough for your money. I live in the United States, so I have US currency. It fits in there just fine. And again, the coin pouch is on the inside of the bag. I have some coins in here. I apologize, I'm not used to sitting behind the camera anymore. I haven't done this for a while and I keep um, bumping the camera with my arm. So sorry for any shaking in the camera. So there you can see, both very similar. There's more compartments in the YSL Cassandra inside and on the back as compared to the Victorine, but they do hold roughly about the same amount. I'll show you in a minute what these two wallets look like when they are filled up. You can see the Victorine is slightly shorter than the YSL. Of course, the other big difference between these two particular pieces is the Louis Vuitton Victorine here is in canvas. Here the Cassandra is in leather. The only option for the YSL Cassandra is leather. This wallet's only made in leather, at least out of the current selection available in 2024. The Victorine is available in both canvas and leather. If you are looking between the two, of course, the canvas option will always be less expensive than leather. However, I do recommend if you're just buying a, one of these wallets to add to your collection, I do recommend going with leather. The leather has a lot more give in it, so it's much easier to get in and out. It's much easier to move these pockets, and it's a little bit easier to get in and out. You can see how much, how malleable this leather is. On the other hand, and you may have noticed I struggled with this a little bit on the Victorine already, the canvas is much stiffer. So it will be a little more difficult, especially with the cards, to get cards in and out of these slots. So that is something to keep in mind. The canvas is a little bit stiffer. Of course, if you buy a pre-loved one or you own one for 10 to 20 years, of course, these materials can soften over time. But just coming right out of the box, the canvas is stiffer, although I have used this wallet a lot. So let me quickly go off camera. I will fill these both up with cards, cash, and some change, and I'll show you what they look like filled up, as well as in the three bags we just discussed. Here's the Victorine wallet all filled up. Let's do some quick measurements with the cards and cash in the wallet, and then I'll show you what fits inside. The length of this wallet is about four and three quarter inches. That's equivalent to about 12 and a half centimeters. The height is, let me make sure this is properly lined up. The height is three and a half inches, which is approximately, uh, what is that, about nine and a half centimeters. And the width, again, this is completely full is about three centimeters or one inch. And this is filled up. Now let's take a look and see what's inside. Okay, so I have cards on the inside. We have one card in each card slot on each side. I've also put one card in behind each slip pocket. So we have four cards on each side I would not recommend putting any more cards than this. You could potentially fit a fifth card here. You'll see it does fit, but this section is really tight. And I'll show you to get the cards out. It is a little bit of a struggle. I do really have to push, especially to get it back inside. So. I would not put any more than that. I can also fit plenty of cash in the back. I don't have that much cash on me today. So I only have two bills in here, but you can see these do fit quite nicely in here. In the slip pocket here, the coin purse, of course this will fit coins. However, I use my coin pouches to fit extra cards. I can comfortably fit four extra cards in here when 
this section is full. So you see the length is just perfect to slip the cards in and out. So I can fit eight total on the inside plus an additional four in the coin pouch. And that's as much as I can fit in here. And this is how the Victorine wallet looks, completely filled up. <laughs> there we go. Now for the YSL Cassandra. Okay, and again, this is filled up. This is again about four and a quarter inches long, same as the Victorine, which is about 12 and a half centimeters. Let's measure this side. The height is a little bit taller. This is four inches exactly, which is approximately 10 and a half centimeters. And the width is a little over one inch. It's about one and a quarter inches, which is about almost four centimeters. So this is slightly shorter, but slightly thicker compared to the Victorine when these two wallets are filled. But let's take a look inside. Let me get this the right way. Just like in the Victorine, I have three cards on each slide, but here I can comfortably fit two cards in the slip pockets behind, and this is a much more comfortable fit as compared to the Victorine. I'm trying to see, I, I don't, here I can take, see I can slip these in and out very easily compared to the Victorine where it was quite a struggle. So I can comfortably fit at least five cards on each side without struggling. This coin pouch is a little bit smaller, so compared to the Victorine, this is a little bit more difficult to get in and out of. You can still fit cards in the pocket if that's what you like to do, like me, but this is a little bit more of a tighter squeeze. You can slip the card in and then just angle it in like that. Same as the Victorine, I can comfortably fit four cards in the coin pouch when this is full. So I can comfortably fit five cards on each side. That's a total of 10 plus an additional four in the pocket. Here, the bill pouch, you can see not quite as roomy as the Victorine, but still plenty of space for bills to get everything in and out. Any other receipts or papers that you may carry with you can also comfortably fit inside. This is my first recommendation, the YSL Cassandra Wallet and the Louis Vuitton Victorine. I will link to both of these wallets in the description box below. I will link to these listings on the YSL and the Louis Vuitton websites. Let's move on now to my second recommendation. And this is the YSL Compact Zip Around Wallet. I have this in two different colors because I do like it quite a bit. These are exactly the same wallet. This I purchased recently pre-loved, and this one I purchased recently new from Nordstrom. I don't have any other brands to compare this to, none that I personally own, but this is the same exact style as the Louis Vuitton Lou wallet. So if you like this style, Another option that you might want to look into is Louis Vuitton and the Lou wallet. Again, I will link to all of these in the description box below. Let me put this one down and we'll take a quick tour of this style. So it's a compact wallet that has a snap and a large zip opening on the outside. Again, very similar. We have three card slots on each side with two slip pockets behind the card slots. Again, same exact as the YSL Cassandra. It does have a small bill pouch in the back. Again, plenty of room for your bills though. So this is the inside of the wallet. And then there's a large zip on the outside. 
and it's a little hard to see on camera it's just a big black hole but we do have a very large coin purse I do like that on this wallet as compared to the Victorine and the Cassandra and that's one of the things I love about this wallet because as I mentioned before I do use my coin pouch to carry extra cards I don't carry coins with me so I love that on this style of bag there's no exterior pockets on this one and again these are exactly the same Here's the YSL Compact Wallet. It's all filled up. Let's take a look at the measurements and then we'll take a look inside the wallet. Same as the other options we looked at before. This is about four and three quarter inches. That's about 12 and a half centimeters. The height, let me get this, is about 10 and a half centimeters. It's hard to see here on camera, but it's a little bit more than 10 centimeters. That's about three and three quarter inches, just shy of four inches. And the width, let me measure this side so it's easier to see. This is thicker. This is about one and a half inches, and this is completely filled up that's about four and a half centimeters. So this is thicker than both the Victorine and the YSL Cassandra when it's filled up. And that is mostly because of this huge coin purse on the outside. And also just the style of this wallet when it's filled up with cards, this part expands a lot more too. So this is about one and a half inches thick. So this is a very thick wallet. I would not recommend this if you are into mini bags. Again, I will show how all these wallets fit into a few bag options. So let's take a look. Similar to the other ones, this fits two cards comfortably in the back, three in the front, same on each side. So I can fit 10 cards inside. And again, this is really easy to slide the cards in and out, but they are in there really secure. Nothing's going to fall out. So I can comfortably fit 10 cards inside. I have some cash in here. Again, just a few bills, nothing huge, but it does comfortably fit all of my money. On the coin pouch here, I, can ha I have six cards inside but I can totally fit more. This is a compact wallet that I would say probably has the capacity of a full-size wallet. I particularly use this in my larger size bags where I could fit a long wallet if I wanted to, but I tend to go for these. Now I will show you how all of these bag, all of these wallets fit in these bags, oops, starting with the Alma. I'm not going to go over all the bag measurements. You can find those all online. All these bags are currently available. So in the Alma PM, or the Alma BB, excuse me, I'm putting the mini pochette accessoire, the six key holder. Again, all these things are filled up. I also have a cell phone. That's the size of a regular iPhone, not the max size. And let's try this way, going straight across. You can see I have the wallet, a cell phone, mini pochette, and six key. Let's take this out and we'll try the Cassandra version. This is really difficult to do <laughs> sitting behind the camera. I am so out of practice. So here we can see the Cassandra wallet in, and this is a much more comfortable fit. Even though it is almost the same size, this Cassandra wallet fits a lot nicer. And I will show you the Victorine, even though it is basically the same size. And there we go, this fits really nicely. Let's take everything out and I will show you the next bag. Here we have the medium college bag from Saint Laurent. And I have everything 
In here already, same mini pochette, cell phone, six key holder, and the Victorine wallet. This fits in really nicely, snaps up just fine. Let's take this wallet out and we'll put in the Cassandra wallet again. Fits great. I'm not going to bother snapping it up because I don't think we need to do that. Now, as you can see, this wallet is too thick. What I do, I do carry this wallet in this bag but I do not carry the mini pochette. So here I'll put the cell phone in the back with the six key holder. Here this wallet fits in just great. We'll put the wallet and the six key holder in the front. And then in the back, typically what I do is I have the phone and instead of the mini pochette, I use the Hermes Calvi as my catch all. So there we go. That fits in really nicely and it snaps up. So you can fit the compact zip around wallet in the medium size YSL, but not with the mini pochette. Now let's take a look at the Chanel mini reissue. Inside I have the cell phone, the Victorine wallet, the six key holder, as well as the Hermes Calvi. This is pretty full. The Victorine wallet and the YSL Cassandra will both fit. However, as you can see, it is a little bit of a tight squeeze. Let's take this out. I'm also going to take out the cell phone to show you the compact zip around wallet. So we'll put the Calvi and the six key holder on that side. Again, this is the one that's completely filled up. It will not fit, right? I would 100% not recommend this wallet for the Chanel mini reissue. So what I would recommend for this is one of these micro wallets in the mini reissue. So Let's take a look at those now. These are the four mini wallets we're going to look at. We have the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. This is from the men's collection. We have the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. And this is from their women's collection. We also have the Ferragamo business card holder. Let's take this out. And we have the Hermes Calvi, which we looked at in the previous segment. So let me start out with the two that I do not recommend as wallets. And those are the Hermes Calvi and the Ferragamo business card holder. The worst option for a wallet, in my opinion, is the Hermes Calvi. I don't think it's a bad piece. I use it as you could see from the previous segment. I do use this as a catch-all for my mini bags. I think this is a great replacement for the mini push at Accessoire. I use this as a catch-all in my larger bags. In my mini bags, I use the Hermes Calvi. I think this is a wonderful little piece. However, I do not recommend it as a mini wallet because all you have are two slip pockets on each side. It could be quite possible for this to come open in your bag and to have something fall out. There's also just zero organization. My second worst recommendation is this business card holder. And you can find really similar business card holders from other brands. So we just have a large compartment in the middle, one slip pocket in the front, and one slip pocket in the back. This is a better choice than the Calvi if you're looking for a micro wallet because you do have a card slot on the outside. You do have a card slot on the inside. So you could get two cards. Let me pick two that 
don't have personal information on them. Here's two gift cards. So say this is your identification, your driver's license, and a credit card. You could easily organize those in the front and then fold up the rest of your cash and cards in the back. I like this. I think it's, I have used it as a mini wallet, but it's not my favorite. It's not my top recommendation because when you have your cards in here, you just have one big thick stack of cards and when you need to find it, you're stuck taking out the whole stack and you know flipping through them like a deck of cards to try to find the, the card that you need. So I don't like that. I like this piece and I do use it, but it's not one of my top recommendations for a micro wallet. These are my two recommendations, both from Louis Vuitton, the men's pocket organizer and the women's Victorine wallet. Let's start out with the Victorine. This is most similar to the previous versions that we looked at. This is basically a small version of the Victorine. It's very similar. Just like the Victorine, it has this snap opening. There's two card slots on each side so you can fit four cards. We have a very generous bill pouch that spans the entire length, almost the entire length of the wallet up to the envelope flap here. And then we do have a very small coin pouch that zips up. And again, the zipper is on the inside of the wallet. Let me take some measurements for you and show you how this wallet looks filled up. Here is the Zoe wallet all filled up. Let's take some measurements and then I will show you what's inside. The length is about three and three quarter inches, just shy of four inches. That's about 10 centimeters, almost 10 and a half centimeters. The wallets won't be much um, shorter than this just because of the size of a credit card. The height is three inches, exactly. And that's about eight centimeters. The thickness or the width, again, this is all filled up. Let's start with inches. This is one inch thick, all filled up. That's about three centimeters. So let's open it up and see what we could fit inside. I have three cards on this side and I have four cards on this side. I have two cards in the front slot and two cards in the back slot. This is full. The cards come in and out easily, as you can see, but I would not put any more than three maximum four cards on each side just because then you will be stretching out the leather quite a bit. So maximum eight cards inside, four on each slide. Here we have the bill pouch, not quite as generous as on the Victorine and the Cassandra, but certainly no problem getting cash in and out. The coin pouch will not fit cards if you like to carry cards with you. I do have some change in here. It's quite easy to get in and out. You can carry change. Here's a gift card just to show you. I cannot fit even a single card in here. The length of the zipper is just not long enough. So you can't carry any cards in the coin pouch, but of course you can carry coins. Now let's take a look at the other option. This is the pocket organizer from Louis Vuitton. This is one of their most popular men's items. There is a slip pocket on the outside. I forgot to mention there is a slip pocket here. You could fit a ninth card or a ticket on the outside of the Zoe wallet. Okay, Going back to the pocket organizer, sorry. You do have a slip pocket on the outside. On the inside, you have three card slots plus a fourth down here on the right side. You have a slip pocket in the back. And on the left, you have one, two, 
three slip pockets. So this is the men's pocket organizer. Of course, the big downside of this is there is no dedicated bill slot. So if you were to carry cash in here, you would have to fold the cash and slip it in one of these slip pockets. And there is also no coin holder. So if you do carry coins on you, there's no spot for coins. And of course, there's no zippers and no snaps on here. This is just a simple bifold wallet. Here's the men's pocket organizer, all filled up. Let's take a look at the measurements and then we'll take a look at what's inside. The height is just shy of four and a half inches. It's about four and a third inch. That's equivalent to about 11 and a half centimeters. So if we wanted to compare this to the Zoe, this is quite a bit taller or longer than the Zoe. The width across the front, this is exactly three inches across. That's eight centimeters and all filled up. Let's take a look. This is about three quarter inches, just shy of one inch. That is about two, maybe two and a half centimeters. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Even when it is filled up, you can still easily slip a card or a ticket in the outer pocket. On the inside, I have my cash folded in half in this back pocket. I also have two cards in front. So I have cash and two cards on the left. On the right, I have three cards in the card slots and two behind it. So I have five cards on this slide. I would not put any more in this wallet for fear of stretching it out. This is the smallest in terms of capacity of all the options that we've looked at compared to the Zoe and the larger wallets. So now it's time to take the bags and see how these all fit inside. Of course, the larger compact wallets fit into the Alma, so we know that these smaller ones will as well, but let's just take a look at it. Here we have the mini pochette accessoire, the six key holder, and the cell phone. So these are our main items in the bag, and then we have plenty of room for the Zoe we can even put in the pocket organizer at the same time. Let me grab the medium college and we'll take a look at that bag next. We know these wallets will fit because they fit the larger ones, but let's just take a look at how everything lays out. We have the mini pochette and the cell phone in the front of the bag. In the back, we have the six key holder and the pocket organizer. This slips in really nicely. Let's take that out and we'll put in the Zoe. And you can see, again, a really, really great fit. These do fit in here more comfortably than the larger wallets, just because even though this is a medium size bag, there is the division in the middle of the bag. So that does cut down on the interior capacity just a little bit. But these two micro wallets, the Zoe and the pocket organizer fit just great. Let me fix this. Now the real test, let me show you how these options look in the Chanel mini reissue. I did remove the mini pochette. This is not something I would typically carry in the mini reissue. I did also remove the six key holder. This is something else I typically wouldn't carry in the mini reissue. I just have my key fob in there. So those are the two items I've removed. And let's take a look inside. So we have the cell phone, the pocket organizer for the wallet, and I have the Hermes Calvi as my catch-all. I also just have the key fob in here as well. So these all fit in so nicely. This is how I will typically carry the mini reissue with the Calvi as the catch-all. 
and the pocket organizer or the Zoe as my wallet. And you can see the Zoe leaves you even more room because it is much shorter than the pocket organizer. So you have so much more room here to fit the key fob, some makeup, some lipstick. Let me just show you these two side by side compared so you can see how much more room this Zoe gives you as compared to the pocket organizer. So these are my two recommendations if you are into mini or even micro sized bags. We have the pocket organizer and the Zoe wallet. If you enjoyed this review and if it was helpful to you, I would greatly appreciate if you could like this video. And as always, don't forget to come back every Friday for new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.